Good evening. I'm happy to welcome you all for this concert that we are having in honor of Maestro Reverend Urdin Bare, who passed away 25 years ago. He's not there with us, but his music is there. Many of us are his students. There are some here also his students, some who knew him, some who played in his orchestra, sang in his choir. Some who don't know him, but we come to know him through his music. So we thank God for, the, for this great gift which he gave to Kuba, who was one of the outstanding musicians that came from our land. So we thank the Lord. As I welcome you all, I extend a cordial and a hearty welcome to our Archbishop, together with the Vicar General and all the priests from the Bishop's house. Through their encouragement, I could, uh, you know, have this concert today. Because we practice in the Bishop's house and they give us the facilities to do so. Thank you, Bishop, and all the fathers. A warm welcome to Most Reverend Alesh Diyash. Bishop Emeritus of Port Blair. Bishop was very enthusiastic about our concert. I just mentioned to him, he said, no, I'll be there, he said. And Bishop is a lover of singing. When he was the rector in Pilar Seminary, they say he used to join the choir. And even after he was nominated bishop, I think he used to sing in the choir. This is what the Pilar fathers have told me. Bishop, we are very grateful and honored by your presence today. A warm welcome to Father Alesh Menezes, the rector of Rashaud Seminary. He knows Father, uh, he knew Father Lurdin very closely, and he will share some of his experiences about him. I welcome the parish priest of Old Goa, Father Rosario. There are sisters here, Father Avinash, I don't know, he's, he's not come, I think, because he's uh, the president of this. Uh, Christian Art Museum. In a special way, I have another guest there, Father Leonard Correa. You may be wondering, like, why Father Correa? Father Leonard Correa was the parish priest in Old Goa. When I had my first concert on the occasion of the 10th death anniversary of Father Lurdin, I was in Rashaul Seminary. I was professor there. It was 2007. It was my first experience, and I just went to him and said, Father, he said, don't worry, and he gave us all the, you know, facilities, and because of his push, I could have a series of concerts right up to now. So, Father, I remember you with thanks. I now pass the mic on to Miss Lona de Silva. She is presently the headmistress of St. Lawrence High School, Agassai. She was one of Father Lurdin's star singers. She acted in his opera, perhaps the only opera produced in Goa. And I say opera, it, was, it is a world-class opera by Verdi. She was the main singer there. She accompanied Father on his tours uh, in India and abroad. And she has consented to compare this function. I thank her for uh, accepting. And a big thanks, I would say, to these 40 young people here, to them and to their relatives, that is you. Because without your encouragement and support, this wouldn't have been possible. They are not, you know, into full-time music. They are housewives and they have other works and students, but still they make time to come for these practices and take all my shouting. So I thank you very much here. And along with them, I thank those who are their family members because you need family support to do this. Thank you and happy listening. Thank you, Reverend Father Romeo Montero. A very pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome you once again this evening to this most beautiful and spectacular venue, 
church of the convent of Santa Monica to commemorate the 25th death anniversary of a renowned composer and musician, priest of the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman, Maestro Paolo Lourdin Pareto. A special concert of sacred music to honor and thank God for his life and work. Father Lourdin Pareto was born in Gajibaga in the year 1938 and left this world on the 24th of January, 1997. <clears throat> but he left us with the greatest of his music. It was given by him freely and with no other expectation other than to have it played to perfection. His dedication to music and his musical genius is what brings all of us together today. This great man was unique, with unique talents. He was able to compose any piece on a short, short notice and insisted that we mastered it in a short span of time. He would compose and arrange music, even in a plane or a bus and make a scene. Father Lubin was known worldwide for his complicated classical compositions and arrangements, but he never forgot his Goa and to compose music in Konkani. He has to his name a cassette of theatre songs too, the lyrics of which were written by late Father Freddy de Costa and music composed by Father Rudin Barreto. You may have a look at his compositions of Konkani Kantala in your leaflet. Also listed are some of his stage productions, musical operas and operators. This evening, we will remember and enjoy the diverse repertoire of music composed and arranged by the Goan stalwart in music. And to enhance this concert of sacred music, we have with us His Grace, most Reverend Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrand, all the other dignitaries, the religious, and you, my dear friends, who have come, music lovers from all over Goa. We welcome you all. Well, friends, a musical concert like this cannot be staged without a wonderful choir like this who will present the sacred music in honor of Maestro Father Lutin Barito. Can we all put our hands together for this wonderful choir, please? Thank you. No musical concert is complete without a conductor. It gives me immense pleasure to introduce to you a person who needs no introduction in the field of music was an obedient student of Maestro Father Lutin Pareto. Here I wish to tell you something what happened way back in 1990s. I used to go to Father Lutin's office to practice for Il Trovatore opera and there used to be a young boy sitting in the corner of his office and trying to clean a sort of a pipe. So every time I went there I saw him doing it. So I was not very familiar with this young boy. He only smiled at me. So I went to the courage, you know, Father Lutin. I took the courage and went to him and I said, Father, what is that young boy cleaning of the type of pipe? He looked at me and gave me that million dollar smile. You know, it was red. <laughs> yes. And then came the words of wisdom. Pearls, I should say. He said to me, it is not a pipe. It is a musical instrument called clarinet. And he's cleaning the reed, the reed, sorry, reed to produce good sound. It went above my head then, but I pretended I understood. And then in the same breath, he said to me, Tu zanai? Aha barkilo, kun kitlo poro wasoita, kitlo wollo sound kata, 
is a very talented boy. You must hear him play. I need not tell you, friends, I'm sure by now you have guessed who that young boy was. Father Luddin Barito loved him dearly and recognized his talents. Today, he is not only a great musician, but also holds high position in other fields. He was born in Santishtev on 8th of January 1972, ordained on 2nd of May 1998, has a doctorate in canon law from Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, also known as Angelicum in Rome, master degree in liturgical music from the Pontifical Antenium of Saint Arcel Rome, also cleared a 24 hours long exam of composition, Contrapunto Uf Ifuga, at the Pontifical Institute for Sacred Music Rome, presently the director of the Western Music Color Academy Pension and the Chancellor of the Archdiocese of Goa and Damam. Great musician himself, yet humble to the core, ladies and gentlemen, let us put our hands together for the conductor of this concert, <laughs> Reverend Father Romulo Thank you. The program for today's concert of sacred music comprises of three parts. Now we are going to witness the first part, Requiem Prayers for Father Ludin Barreto. Requiem Prayers are the prayers that are traditionally used for the Catholic funeral liturgies. Some of these prayers are not included in the new Missal, but they still remain devotional prayers among Catholics. And famous composers have put them to music. We shall now listen to six of these prayers the composers of which are listed in your leaflet against the prayers, Signum Crucis, <coughs> Pater Noster, Ave Maria, Lux Etern, meaning eternal light, Dies Ire, meaning day of wrath, Lacrimosa, meaning weeping, a title given to Virgin Mary, Pia Jesu, meaning Pious Jesus, and Paradiso, meaning into paradise. A humble request, ladies and gentlemen, please reserve your applause only after the six prayers. Thank you. Pleasant listening. Kindly you put your mobiles off, dear Lord. Mobiles. No. 
Center of Lay Apostolate for the Archdiocese of Goa and Daman for a long period of time. Presently the Rector of the Patriarchal Seminary of Russia and Editor of the Pastoral Bulletin of the Archdiocese Renovasan. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to welcome Reverend Father Alesh Menezes to pay a short tribute to late Father Martin Barito. Welcome, Father. Your Grace, Archbishop Philip Neri Ferrao, Your Excellency, Bishop Alex Dias, respected Vicar General, Father Jose Rebeidis Fernandes, Respected students, friends, admirers, and brother priests of Father Nurdin, and distinguished music lovers. As we remember Father Nurdin on the 25th anniversary of his unfortunate and untimely death, it is indeed an honor bestowed on me to pay a tribute to late Maestro Reverend Father Lurdino Barreto. I missed the doctor. I pay this tribute as a student of Father Lurdino, but much more as a friend of Father Lurdino. As just now Lorna has said. And that was because of my uncle, late Professor Lorisino Menezes, who was the Solfeggio teacher. Academia de Musica and later at the Department of Western Music of the Kala Academy. <laughs> My dear friends, I've been asked to say a few words and it's difficult, really difficult to say a few words, but I'll keep my word. There are few. I'll speak on three subjects. On three subjects. First, for the Lurdino, the musician. Much has been said and written about Father Lurdino's musical talent, his achievements, his compositions, and his performances. The aspect that I wish to recall is Father Lurdino was a revolutionary musician. I repeat, Father Lurdino was a revolutionary musician. He wanted to move beyond the conventional norms of musicology, whether it is compositions and much more in the various performances that he presented. He was not satisfied to present operas, concerts, etc. with the participation of qualified and trained musicians and singers, but he would take up the challenge to turn a simple talent into a powerful skill and competence. There will be some here who will vouch for this claim of mine. I would like to place before you two instances in which I was involved. The first one Lorna had just mentioned. I was doing my licentiate in the Medic Theology in Rome in 1991 when Father Lurdino wrote to me that time there were no mobiles, phones were only what were called trunk calls, that he wanted to bring the Goa Philharmonic Choir on a tour to perform in some cities in, in Europe. Myself being in Rome for the first time, he asked me if I could help. I said, I will try. I requested some senior Goans there and some Indians for help, but they politely replied by saying, <laughs> I did what I could when Father Lurdino began his tour from Rome. He performed during the papal audience, besides other places, but I recall with nostalgia. What is that? The choir sang for the Sunday Mass of the Canons at the St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican. And they were singing the hymn, Vedicere Udia Sovi, 
Suddenly, I was in the crowd. Suddenly, the tourists stopped. Stopped moving. And they were looking at the choir. Somebody said, Who are these dark, dark skinned singers from the third world? I made a big eyes. But then, as the hymn concluded, during the mass, there was a thunderous applause because they sang it really well. Lorna was part of it. Second instance, I came across in Austria the Chichester Psalms of Leonard Bernstein. Now these are really difficult Psalms. Psalms were sung by young boys in the Jewish temple and Leonard Bernstein had taken up the Psalms 100, 108, Psalm number 2, Psalm number 23, 131 and 133 and had prepared and co-extended choral composition in three movements for the young boys and choir. I did, when I came back, I gave the musical score to Father Lurdino. He smiled and said, Zata Zalea Tsuita. And he did it with a mixed choir, surely with young boys. A revolutionary musician. No boundaries kept him behind in music. Secondly, for the Lurdino the priest, Galchibaga in Kanakona was a distant land when Father Lurdino was born. However, responding to the call of God to become a priest, he joined the Saligon Seminary. Late Father Juan Bautista Vegas, the then professor in music, nurtured the musical talent of Father Lurdino so that it could blossom into a masterpiece. Though a talented musician, he never ever forgot that he was a priest. His commitment to his breviary, the rosary, the daily mass, and other spiritual and religious practices were never sacrificed because of his busy musical schedule. Though tough and rude, sometimes when it came to music, I would say most of the time, he was a humble and charitable priest otherwise. His performances would always have some religious music as part of the repertoire, especially when he was the director of the Cal Academy and he had to perform for Independence Day. There would be a Marian hymn, I think one of them will be sung today, which coincided with the Assumption of Mary. Finally, the dreams of Father Lurdin. Our Goan villages were known for their Kantar and Shkola. Father Lurdino wanted to reintroduce this system with a new format in our schools. He took upon himself to prepare textbooks for music to be introduced as an optional subject for students 8 to 12 under the Goa Board of Secondary and Higher Secondary Education. He even got some of them printed. We many a time discussed about these books in the Cal Academy canteen over a cup of tea. Further, after his retirement, Father Lurdin wanted to start a small music school for poor but talented music students. And then he had great dreams of taking gold music on the international, international Western classical music platform. However, he could not realize his dream because death snatched him on January 24, 1997, at what I would say a young age of 58 years. My dear friends, while concluding, I wish to congratulate Father Romeo Montero for remembering Father Lurdin Barreto. I sincerely appreciate the efforts put by the Assam for beautifully executing, will be executing some of the works of Father Lurdino. Three concerts of classical music were performed with the music of Father Lurdino 
from 2007 to 2009 by Father Romeo Monteiro. I hope and pray that Father Romeo will keep the legacy of Father Ludino alive. I wish you all a blessed Lenten season and a grace-filled Easter. Thank you and God bless us all. Thank you, Father, for those sweet memories and insights into the person Father Ludin Barreto was. Here I am to quote another important quality of Father Ludin Barreto. He was a man of concern. I know most of you might not agree with me, but he was a man of concern. Once when we were traveling to Europe, and I was seated, I happened to sit next to him. And uh, when the plane took off and we reached up, he turned around to me and said, are you traveling by plane for the first time? So I said, my God, all this time I thought he was a great musician. Now he can foresee as well. So I, uh, I turned around and I said, Father, why do you say that? I am traveling for the first time. So he said to me, look at what you have done. And I turned around and I saw his hand, I must have grasped his hand so hard and caused the nail marks to form on his skin. So I said, Father, why didn't you tell me? So he said, it's okay. I understand. You are afraid. That was Father Lutin. The quantum of his concern was great. Now to move on, the second part of the program will touch upon the liturgical composition and arrangements of Father Ludin Pareto. Father Ludin Pareto has written many masses. He composed a whole mass in Portuguese for the Goa Philharmonic Choir to be sung at Fatima in Portugal during the centenary year. At least 10 masses of his are listed in your leaflet. The choir will be performing the excerpts of only six of these masses. Three in Konkani, Somya Kapukur from Santa Bhakta Chemis, Muimadeva from Goincha Saiba Chemis, Sotmanta from Jesucha Karza Chemis, Santu 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 from Misa e Ora de Nossa Senhora de Fatima, Pavitra Pavitra from Mass in Hindi, and Lamb of God from Mass in honor of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. A special request, kindly refrain from clapping in between. Thank you and pleasant listening.
Father Ludin Barreto was indeed a very talented and gifted musician. He had a special gift and could elevate the meaning of the words through his music and arrangements. Here I remember one of the masses is Signor Tende Pieda, Pieda di Nos, Lord him as you know. He would bring out a feeling in the words.
Father Lutin Barreto also wrote four Vespers, meaning Sanjechem Praton, out of which the choir will sing only one song from one of the four Vespers, that is from Bhagavan Atunucha Mana, Pratigan and his top one for the Kariya Jai Jai Kar, 
मंगल माय शुभ नम जग का मिठा का बाप ट्रेडिशनल एंड ओरिजिनल ट्यून लेडीज एंड जेंटमैन श्री येसु भगवान
patron of St. Francis Xavier, who was canonized on 12th March 1622 by Pope Gregory. And just three days back, on 12th of March, we witnessed the commemoration of 400 years of his canonization at Old Goa. St. Francis Xavier was very dear to Father Ruddin Barreto. And during the exposition of the sacred relics of St. Francis Xavier in 1984, Father Ruddin Barreto arranged the scene, Sansara Chesubia, at the request of Father Vash Craig, a Jesuit priest who wrote the melody in 18 verses. Since we are in the Jubilee year of the canonization of St. Francis Xavier, we thought good to recall the connection between these two great men and sing the same. Though simple with two voices, yet with a touch of the genius.
It was sung by the Goa Philharmonic Choir all over Europe in four voices. Well, friends, please enjoy Rosari Sai.
shepherd guiding them through green pastures and protecting them from being preyed upon. We have with us a good shepherd, a perfect blend of concern and humor who makes time for every apostolate, be it music or education. May I now invite His Grace, Most Reverend Archbishop Philip Mary Perron, to address the gathering. Dear Bishop Aleixo das Neves Dias, I'll be catching them for the Zero Neves Fraternals. My dear fathers, sisters, respected invitees, distinguished music lovers, friends and admirers of Maestro Dunin Barret, of Father Romeo Monteiro, friends and relatives of the members of the choir and of our musicians, and my dear friends. I deem it a privilege indeed to be here today for this soul-stirring concert of sacred music in memoriam of revered Maestro Paolo Rudino Barreto, organized by Father Romeo Monteiro and his musical ensemble in this hello an uplifting environment of the convent of the church of in the church of the convent of Santa Monica. Someone said that music is the literature of the heart because it commences where speech ends. It commences where speech ends. Quite frankly, dear friends, I am eager to end my speech as soon as possible so that you may continue to enjoy the literature of the heart, the unique experience that Father Romeo Monteiro and his ensemble have been giving us for the last almost one and a half hour. But say a few things I must. So bear with me for giving you this rather unmusical interlude. First and foremost, we have gathered here to pay our tribute to one of the greatest musicians, Goa, has produced and who left us rather suddenly 25 years ago. Maestro Paolo Lurdino Barreto, who was dubbed as the best musicologist east of Suez during a World Congress of Musicians in 1987, left us a vast array of musical compositions and arrangements, some of which are yet to be performed in public. His colossal musical work has covered Western as well as Indian music, classical as well as popular music, including songs for the Goan theatre, folk, as well as sacred music. Father Romeo Monteiro has decided to give us today a taste, just a taste, of Maestro Lurdino, Lurdino's sacred music compositions and arrangements, and that too in various languages like Konkani, English, Portuguese, and Hindi. I invite you to pause in silence, just for some brief moments, sitting as we are, as a mark of respect 
for this great composer of sacred music and son of our own soil. May the Lord grant Maestro Lundino Barretto eternal rest. Today's concert, although it does not bear the tale of lengthened music, is the latest in a series of concerts that Father Romeo has been presenting to the Goan public during the period of Lent over the years. We thank God that the legacy that Maestro Nurdino has left for us is being carried out by his pupils and admirers, chief among whom is Father Romeo Montero, who incidentally was also a student at two of the three institutes which Father Nurdino frequented in Rome, namely the Pontifical Institute of Sacred Music, where he, that is Father Romeo, did his baccalaureate in composition, and the Pontifical University of St. Anselm, better known as the Anselmiano, where he did his licentiate in liturgical music. All this while pursuing his main studies at the Angelicum, or rather the Pontifical University of St. Thomas Aquinas, where he obtained his doctorate in canon law. So we have quite a brain here, thoroughly trained in the theological as well as the musical sciences. While we congratulate Father Romeo for one more delightful concert of sacred music, we wish and pray that he continues to serve the church in Archdiocese and the society in Goa with that spirit of simplicity, generosity, and unobtrusiveness that has always characterized his priestly ministry in our midst. A big hand to Father Romero. But not the least, word of appreciation goes to this band of dedicated singers and musicians, most of them young artists who translated into most pleasing and musical sound waves the scribblings on paper that only they are trained to decipher. Well, I hear that a few of them do not even read musical notes. Can you believe this? They surely deserve our special admiration and thanks for the many hours of practice, the many kilometers and hours of traveling up and down for the same and the absolute dedication that each of them offered for the success of today's program. I myself was a witness because they used to have their practices in the chapel of the bishop's house. And I would see many of them during my evening walk, coming late in the evening, after a heavy day's work and other commitments, so faithfully for this practice. Shall we give them a loud, loud, Father Romeo Montero, all the choiristers, the musicians, and our gifted and vibrant compere, Miss Lorna. And with this, I conclude my most unmusical interlude and hand you over again to the experienced hands 
of the day's milestone. Thank you. Thank you, Your Grace, for your kind words of wisdom and appreciation. The third and the final part of this program rise of the concluding prayer. The choir will now sing to you an Anglican hymn, Abide With Me, a prayer for God to stay with the speaker throughout life and death. The lyrics of this hymn were written by Scottish Henry Francis Light in 1847 and he was, as he was dying of tuberculosis and the music to it was written by William Henry Mock. Listen with pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, abide with me.